What's up YouTube, it is SA here and welcome to my first episode of my career mode series with Swansea City on FIFA 13. So here as you can see we're selecting our team first. Obviously we're going to choose Swansea City and we have a transfer budget of 5.5 million. Now we can choose our match difficulty, we're going to be playing it on world class. Uh, currency is sterling, well with stadium we'll just leave that how it is. And the squads we're going to download the latest. And yes, we will enable European competition in the first season, as you can see, Champions Cup, basically Champions League. Okay, so we'll try that again. All right, so let's advance through that now, and we move on to the manager preferences. So basically, our manager settings. Uh, we we can put in our first name um, and last name, and we can also uh, new to this FIFA. We can also uh, put in our output style, and uh, once we've done all of that we can advance on to the career mode menu alright so this is how the career mode menu looks like as you can see it is pretty similar to the FIFA 12 one but it looks a little bit more polished um, so first we're just gonna go ahead and look at our squad um, in the team management section alright so we're playing on a formation of 4-3-3 um, so we got the goalkeeper there 81 goalkeeper a right back is 73 uh, Chico in the right centre back is 76 uh, Ashley Williams then 76, uh, Taylor 72, Guzman 75, Britton 75, Mitchell 75, Dyer 75, Graham uh, 76 and Rooted 73. So uh, basically the whole squad is made up of an average uh, 75-76 rating um, with the exception of the goalkeeper. Um, but obviously the left back and the right back uh, do bring it down a little bit and I am going to be looking to replace them because I did find two really good players for their position. So. Um, I won't be selling these two players, but I will be putting them on the sub bench because um, I do have some better, uh, new, uh, more new players coming in, and who are also younger than these two as well. So I will be uh, getting new players for those positions. So in the uh, substitute section, I will be uh, selling this goalkeeper. Um, he is 33 years of age as well, so I will be selling him because I don't, I won't be playing him either, and uh, eventually he'll probably just retire. So um, I will be selling him. Uh, then we got Tate, 69, uh, Augustian, 68, Key then 71. I'm really impressed with this player as well. He'll be playing regularly for me, uh, coming on for the sub bench. Uh, sometimes I may even start him. Uh, then we got Lita then, uh, good physical attributes as well, uh, 27 years of age, more. And then Pablo Hernandez, um, and I will be playing Pablo as well quite a bit. I might even start him, I'm not too sure yet. And then we got Bartley, uh, who will probably be be putting on the sub bench um, as well sometimes so let's go to our transfer page so we're just gonna sell some players first um, like I said first of all we're gonna be selling uh, the 33 years of age goalkeeper if I can find him here Oh, wrong one okay so here he is so we're just gonna add him to our transfer list okay so he's added to our transfer list and we're also going to be loaning out some players as well um, we're going to be loaning out uh, Cornell no not no sorry not Cornell um, we're going to be loaning out We're going to be loaning up Richards because he is 21 years of age as well, so um, I do want him playing quite a bit, so let's loan him out. Um, and we're also going to be loaning out uh, Davis as well. So let's loan him out. And these two players as well. As you can see, it is quite a big squad. Swansea City squad is really big, so um, I don't want uh, just players there who aren't playing, so I might as well send them out on loan. And I will be selling Gower as well because he is 30, 33 years of age. He hasn't got the best overall either, so um, I will be selling him because I won't be playing him much. Um, and there's nobody putting him out on loan either, so I'm going to be selling him. And I'll also be selling this the centre back monk. Uh, 33 years of age and only 68 as well so he's not the best of players and he's pretty old as well so let's add him to the transfer list 
Okay, so the new players that I was on about, uh, the new right back and left back, I'll show you them now. Um, I'm going to search their last name. So we got Laura. You might have heard of him before. He's a really good player. A uh, really good young player as well, and he doesn't cost much. Alright, so there he is, Laura. As you can see, only an estimated 1.8 million. And the, look at the player weight as well, very cheap. 25 years of age, so a very good age. And look at those uh, strength stats as well. Look at those uh, stats for this. Stamina 93, acceleration 90, balance of 89, sprint speed of 85, agility 84, jump in 82. So a very good attacking player as well. So we will be buying him. Oh, sorry. Um, Alright, so approach Sporting Dubai. Yeah, we will offer him 1.8 million first, and then we'll see what they say then. Okay, so the other, the left back which I found, his name is a little bit more complicated, um, which I'll just type in here. Hold on a sec, guys. Alright, so this this left back is a really good left back as well um, and again he is he is quite cheap so let's type his name in here I think that I've typed that in right not to sure let's search that So as you can see, left back Sakura, 26 years of age, 75 overall, estimated worth only 1.6 million, and his play weight is only 7,000. And again, very good stamina, good crossing curve, dribbling is very good, and aggression and ball control. So a very good attacking player again, um, very young and very cheap as well. So we're gonna approach uh, Granada CF to buy, and we'll like uh, we'll also offer him uh, 1.6 million first, and then we'll see. Uh, what Granada say. Alright, so those two have been added and let's sim to see what they say. Alright, so your Laura inquiry. Okay, uh, so we just got some two match for schedule there. Uh, transfer market information. Domestic Cup objective is to reach the semi-final. League objective is to, to finish uh, mid-table, which I'm sure we will do quite easily. So let's advance here. Advancing times um, are probably the same as FIFA 12. Um, so yeah, they are pretty slow. Um, but hopefully they'll, they will be tweaked a little bit in the final game to make it faster. So... Granada have been have rejected our offer, um, so let's offer them the uh, suggested amount, which was 2.3 million. Hopefully, he'll accept that. Okay, so that's submitted. And Sporting have said to re increase our offer, which we will do. So we'll bump that up to 2.5 million okay so let's see what they say about that let's advance and just to let you know guys these are only two so alright so Tremel we have received an offer for of 300,000. I don't care how much it is, I just want him out of the club, so let's just accept that. Alright, so like I was saying before, guys, um, these are the only two players I, I'm looking to buy. If you have any suggestions, please comment in the section below. Um, after this, I probably have about 2 or 3 million transfer budget left, so uh, yeah, tell me in the comment section below if, if you have any um, inquiries about uh, what players I should get. But like I said, at the moment, 
I, I don't need much players for this Fonzi squad. Um, and I only really need a right back and a left back. Um, so let's advance. Like I said, they are still quite slow, like FIFA 12. The advancing times. Okay, so transfer offer is unacceptable. We have set a 2,400,000 price tag, okay. I don't see much difference in that, but let's do it. So hopefully now they will finally accept that. Let's advance through here. And see what Sporting and Granada say. So, okay, so that's just my agent basically telling me about international management opportunities uh, if I do good this first season so um, Michael Vorm have accepted our offer sorry um, this is a, an offer for Michael Vorm uh, from Newcastle um, we're gonna reject that because he's a very good goalkeeper uh, for a club like Swansea so we're just gonna reject that um, so Sporting have rejected our offer sorry accepted our offer and we're gonna offer him yeah eight thousand a week for three years, um, and he will be a, a crucial first team player. So let's admit that, and he hopefully now is a Swansea City player. So now we just have uh, Granada to reply now to um, our offer of two point four million. So let's advance. Okay. So we have two offers here. Um, so you have one for Gar uh, Gary Monk. Um, 60 overall. We're going to accept that. Like I said, I'm not too bothered about players like these. I just want them out of the club. And then we have Danny Graham. Uh, which we, uh, we're going to reject because he is a very good player, he's a crucial player for us. Uh, so we're going to reject that. And let's advance through here. Okay, so our transfer offer has been accepted of 2.4 million. So let's offer him, yeah that looks good, he will be a f crucial first team player as well, so let's submit that offer and hopefully him and Laura will be a Swansea City player, so let's advance to confirm it. Okay, so I'll contract offer has been accepted which means that Laura is officially a Swansea City player so that's our first signing done and now we just have to wait uh, for what uh, Granada say um, about uh, what's his name now Scurita or something like that sorry if I haven't pronounced that right okay so our player has been sold that's Gary Monk that's good so he's out of the club. Now we just have to wait uh, for um, Sakira for his reply. Okay, and his offer, contract offer, has been recept, uh, accepted. Uh, we're going to accept that offer and make him officially a Swansea City player. And there we go he both of them are Swansea City player so that's both of our signings done as you um, as I said before guys uh, if you have any uh, transfer suggestions please comment in the section below telling me them um, so that wraps it up for this first episode in the next episode um, I will be playing the three friendly matches and I will be starting up the Premier League um, and we'll take it from there